Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me here. I have a fresh tan going on. I'm pretty bronzed up right now because I'm back from Thailand and it was amazing, but the weather in Bombay City, you guys, it is so gloomy, it is so rainy. It's been a week since I'm back, so my tan has pretty much faded away quite a bit. I am still about six to seven shades darker. My concealers don't match. My makeup is fairly okay, but I've literally just used loose powder, a little bit, actually a lot of blush and bronzer because none of my concealers work. I don't use foundation. So this is just my skin, you guys. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's got that perfect surfer glow and I'm living for it. Thailand was an absolute dream, you guys. The entire July month just went in Thailand. And if you've been following my YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, Instagram stories, you probably know what's up. It was honestly so beautiful now in today's video i'm going to show you guys a bunch of products that i bought from the nika hot pink pink friday i don't know i think it was hot pink sale i bought a bunch of stuff not a lot just a few things along with that i also bought a bunch of stuff before i went to thailand i wanted to try some stuff i wanted to carry some stuff with me as well so i'm going to take you guys through all of these products i don't do a lot of hauls and you all already know that so um it's always very exciting for me i also did a kind life haul with my own money it's not a sponsored video i think i'll post it really soon also if you're watching me for the first time hi my name is Preeti. welcome to my channel i talk about all things cool to free which means products are not tested on animals a lot of vegan a lot of sustainable a lot of indian brands as well if this is the kind of content you resonate with then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video okay let's get started now very quickly i'm going to do reviews of each product this is not a first impression video i've actually tried all of these products and i'm going to talk about them now let's start with anomaly these are the two products that I bought. A lot of you guys wanted me to try this brand. A lot of you guys, oh my God, in my DMs, in YouTube comment section, so many comments. So I finally bought these. Um, I think on the first or second day of the sale, this was a buy one, get one. I'm gonna tuck my hair back because honestly, it's so fluffy. Let's start with this one, the bonding mask. Apparently this will build and strengthen your hair. It's gonna make it healthier and shinier. Honestly, it really didn't do much for my hair and i'm going to be 100 percent honest i have frizzy wavy now i have bleached hair and this really didn't do much for me i know a lot of indian brands like the plum range the new one um that's the hair bonding range i keep forgetting the name but i'm going to leave photos on the screen the mask from that one is so good that was gifted to me by the brand as soon as it launched so it's been about a month before i went to thailand that i was trying it out and it is so good it is way better and it's way more affordable this honestly did not do much i feel like if you have frizzy like basic frizzy hair if you have normal hair straight hair maybe a little wavy not colored not damaged at all then this will work pretty okay for you but if you really want just a simple fuss free formula the plum avocado range is really nice but if you want something that's going to repair your bonds it's going to strengthen your hair if you want something in the luxury category aveda botanical repair any day you guys it is such a beautiful product but if you want something in the more affordable range then it's definitely that plum mask that i was talking about i do not see myself repurchasing this for my hair it honestly didn't do much it doesn't have the slip to detangle your hair yes it's thick yes it's creamy it didn't really strengthen in my hair it did not make it shiny at all so it was just very very average for all the hype around this brand on the other hand this is something that i absolutely love it doesn't leave my hair feeling too white it doesn't make it sticky there's not a lot of residue on the hair this is fantastic it does feel a little heavier than your normal dry shampoo but it doesn't make it sticky it doesn't give you that white cast on the hair you know that grayness you know what i'm talking about this also smells so good you guys it leaves your hair feeling so fresh how i go about dry shampoos is that i will use them once only so supposing my hair is greasy today i'm gonna use a dry shampoo and then immediately next day i'm gonna wash i'm not gonna layer some more dry shampoo that causes build up in the past it's given me a lot of hair fall so basically i'm about 50 50 on the brand right now because i've tried two products and this one just did not work for me so um i'm not too sure if i want to try other products because if a bonding mask a good bonding mask didn't work on my hair i'm not too sure how the conditioner will work i'm not really looking forward to the shampoo maybe i might try the leave-in let me know in the comments how the leave-in worked for you in case you've tried it the next item is this one right here it's a setting spray this is from revolution conceal and define infinite mattifying long wear makeup fixing spray that is a long mouthful of words 16 hour wear honestly nobody wears their makeup for 16 hours but this was my saving grace in thailand this really keeps your makeup in check now of course in thailand i did not carry any base makeup 
all I carried was eyeliner, a lot of blush, lipsticks, highlighter, eyebrow stuff, and that's about it. So with my sunscreen, with my eyeliner, and of course my highlighter and stuff, I just didn't want all of it moving around or getting too oily because it was so hot there. Oh my God, it is so humid. And this was my saving grace. I absolutely love it. Lil goes a long way. This is my second bottle, you guys. I carry two of these. So this was a new one that I bought from Nika before I left and fantastic stuff if you haven't tried this out you are missing out because this is honestly so good it is however pretty heavy on fragrance just a heads up so if you're very very allergic to fragrance you might want to skip it but also it's like literally the last layer on your face after the primer makeup and sunscreen everything so it doesn't bother my skin too much next two products are these eyeliners from k-beauty i love the packaging very very sleek this was also my first time trying out these eyeliners and i'm honestly so shook this brown liner is is honestly so stunning if you've seen any of my recent youtube shorts instagram reels this is the one that i've been using it is so beautiful and it's not too harsh i feel like for a lot of my sunscreen swatches or lip balm swatches a black eyeliner just looks a bit too much and a brown one just softens the entire look just look at that it's very very pigmented now of course this won't show up if you're very very dark if you have a, a very warm complexion of course because it's brown in that case you will need something like a chestnut or something like a black color black one is the one that i've applied today i love the precision the applicator is is fantastic i love both of these so much and amazing stuff you guys i can't believe i was sleeping on these beautiful formula very long lasting doesn't smudge at all i have super oily eyelids and my eyeliner tends to get really smudgy in general so off late i've been experimenting with a lot of good liners and um this stuff right here is fantastic now these are the two products that I bought before going to Thailand. I don't know why I bought a lip gloss. Honestly, who wears lip gloss on a beach holiday with all that breeze and rain and humidity? What silly decision. I didn't even take it with me. But this is something I travel with and this is the natural blush. It's the cream puff and um, what is the shade name? I think the shade name is Mochi. This is what the packaging looks like. Pretty basic. Um, the shade is okay not the best honestly i thought it would be brighter because in the photos it looked like it had a way more rosy undertone this is a very nude color and um it's a nice formula don't get me wrong it's like this moussey kind of a texture and it gets a little powdery this is my fourth time going in because it's not that pigmented four times you guys i went four times right in front of you and this is all the pigmentation that you get it is not long lasting at all it just doesn't look that nice on the skin either honestly if you have an indian skin tone i have a neutral to cool skin tone but now because i'm tanned i'm a uh, neutral to warm and even then it just doesn't show up it is not the best formula out there honestly very very disappointing because this is my first time trying root cosmetics in one swipe let me show you that's all you'll notice that this blends to literally nothing it is not long lasting at all look at that you guys i'm tan now so it's basically my skin tone this next one however i really like this it's a very nice lip gloss it's the perfect dupe for the lime crime lip glosses look at that oh this smells so good this smells like all things bubblegum. The Berry Juicy Lip Gloss. This is what the outer packaging looks like. The shade is Nudist. I feel like they've really nailed the formula. Even the packaging is very similar to Lime Crime. Both of these literally look the same on the lips. They smell the same. This is for 350 rupees. Literally one third or one fourth of the price of the Lime Crime Lip Gloss. And they both look the same. They both are non-sticky. They smell the same. I'm definitely gonna buy more lip glosses from this brand because I am so impressed. I'm not ever gonna buy any blushes from this brand not happening now i love engaged perfumes a lot of them work really well for me one of my favorite ones is the um, parisian one i'm going to leave a photo on the screen that's one of my favorites it's a constant repurchase for me if you haven't tried it you are missing out my friend it is so good so i decided to try this one out it was super hyped during the cosmopolitan awards this was the core focus because i was following all of my friends stories and this was the main focus and this honestly smells so bad it is a very strong fragrance it lasts very very long 
but it smells so soapy. A lot of these cheap perfumes have a very soapy undertone. They smell like hand wash. This was the tiny mini that I got free. How cute, look at that. So cute, right? Too bad the perfume sucks, but <laughs> it's just so bad. I can't believe they did an extensive marketing of this. And as you can tell, I haven't used it at all. It's been about two months now, way before I went to Thailand when I bought these products and um, I don't recommend it. I don't know what to do with it. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys do with perfumes that don't work for you? Should I use it as a room freshener maybe? Will that work? Uh, maybe it will be softer as a room freshener. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. The next item is Walk the Walk lipstick from my favorite range of Nykaa. I love Nykaa lipsticks. This range, right? This one creamy matte kind of a formula so beautiful and absolute must have if you are on a budget if you want something that's creamy not too mattifying so i have a bunch of shades from this range and um i decided to get this one okay this looks a little more neon because i am tanned right now but um just for reference that is my natural skin tone and this is how tanned I am right now. So this looks super neon on my tan, but with a brown lip liner, this is gonna look so good. I love the shade so much. It just, it's so stunning. It's a very warm tone. It's like a pink peach with a warm undertone. Very beautiful. I think this is gonna be great for events, um, parties, definitely not for office. It's not an office lipstick for sure, but it's just such a beautiful formula. I love this shade. It's called Walk the Walk and this entire range has been such an absolute stunner every single shade i've bought from this range has worked so beautifully for me i love the formula i love the longevity it lasts very very long on the lips and as it fades away it leaves this beautiful tint this is the same consistent thing with all of the lipsticks from this range also the price point is fantastic if you're a college going person this is something you need in your vanity well not this shade specifically that's subjective to you but this range fantastic okay so the next item is from tangle teaser this is the wet detangler brush fantastic stuff i love this so much i recently bought this in the nika hopping sale and this reduces hair breakage so beautifully if you want to detangle your hair while it's wet which i strongly recommend because if you have frizzy hair if you have bleached hair that gets very very knotted like mine you want to detangle your hair right after wash because you don't want it to just sit there after drying when you detangle your hair you're going to cause a lot of frizz on dry hair so do not do that you want something that's very very gentle use very gentle motion absolutely Absolutely no pressure and very gentle just detangle everything so this is what I've been using and I'm so impressed I love this so much for the longest time I was using the Aveda paddle brush that's great for wet detangling it's great for normal brushing as well doesn't really reduce breakage but this reduces breakage so beautifully this is a normal size online I noticed that there's another one which is slightly bigger that was for about 1900 or 1800 rupees this is for 1400 I got this for about 870 or 900 something it was on a discount but yeah i love tangle teaser man none of their items have disappointed me I have so many brushes from tangle teaser let me know if you'd like to see a video on all of the brushes that i own from this brand now what i like about this is that you'll notice on screen you have some long bristles you have some short bristles and these are so flexible it doesn't cause any breakage it detangles your hair it just smoothens out your hair really well doesn't cause any frizz either which is fantastic i love it the next two items are these two from Nykaa. I love the Nykaa liners. They are so good. So this is a brand new one. I haven't even opened it yet, you guys. Look at that. So this is a brand new one, and this is the one that I'm currently using. Looks like this. I'm going to put the new one inside. I don't want to mix up the whole thing. This is another eyeliner that I traveled with, and it is beautiful. It does have a little bit of a glossy finish. It's not very, very matte, but it's honestly so long lasting. It is so easy to apply. It allows you room for errors because it doesn't dry down too fast, just like the K-Beauty one. Very waterproof. However, if you go swimming, I went surfing with this and it just crumbled. It went into my eye, which was not a good time. So I don't recommend this for excessive swimming. But if you are in monsoons and it's raining, if you sweat a lot, you can definitely use this. It doesn't get all smudgy it doesn't um, go all over the place it's gonna get a little crusty and maybe fall off from the corners but it doesn't smudge and make you look like a raccoon so that's a great thing next one is this this mascara right here I love this wand you guys it is so big so big and I love it I haven't applied any mascara today I completely forgot but this stuff is so good I traveled with this to Thailand and 
one of the best decisions I made because it was so rainy, it was so humid, and you know, it's tropical weather, so even though it's not technically monsoon there when I was there, it was still raining on and off, so maybe every fourth day it might rain, I might rain really bad, and then the next three days are super sunny. Now for me, a lot of times when I sweat, and I sweat a lot, you guys, that's one of the reasons why I got Botox on my forehead, I sweat like this, and the sweat goes in my eye. And a lot of times it messes up my eye makeup, especially when I'm at events. It is so embarrassing. It's one of my biggest insecurities, I feel. I really like this. Pretty waterproof, very, very black, very lifting, fantastic, very easy to clean with a cleansing balm. I also stocked up on my favorite eyebrow pencils before I went to Thailand because Lord knows I needed to. The first one is from Miss Claire, the waterproof eyebrow pencil in dark brown fantastic stuff you guys this has been my favorite for so long i got this for like 90 rupees after a discount it's got this nice wax kind of a texture it's very long lasting great if you have very very bushy eyebrows even for my eyebrows which are not the most bushiest it really keeps everything in place especially now that i've shaved my eyebrows it keeps everything in place from moving around the next one is my nyx eyebrow pencil this is what it looks like it's a very thin micro pencil with a tiny spoolie right here this is in the shade espresso this is the closest match so i've used a combination of both of these today on my eyebrows because i wanted that perfect color on my eyebrows this is something i need in every single handbag i change my handbags quite often and when i'm outside i have shaved eyebrows you guys even the slightest thing and I'll be left with like a funny eyebrow. So I need one as a backup in every handbag. So yeah, that's something that I stocked up on as well. And the next one is the Body Shop uh, Cleansing Butter, a favorite of mine. This is a discovery that I made, um, I'm going to say about mid last year or the ending of last year ending of last year yeah because i didn't even mention this in my best of skincare uh 2022 ending of last year so i've used quite a bit of this i carry two of these to thailand because it's just convenient less weight thin packaging this is easily easily one of the best cleansing balms that i've ever used in my entire life i've used so many cleansing balms you guys but this one right here it just if you have sensitive eyes, if you have very waterproof makeup, if you have acne prone skin, if you have sensitive skin, if you don't want fragrance, whatever, anything, this will work. It emulsifies beautifully. It doesn't feel tacky on the skin. It doesn't clog your pores. It's not gonna give you that squeaky clean feeling. A lot of these cleansing balms can also do that because of maybe the fragrances that they have in it. But this stuff, it's just amazing with this a little goes a long way you do not need a lot of product which i was actually surprised by because it is such a lightweight formula it's not very thick it's not very gooey it's not extremely creamy it's very very lightweight and i think that kind of works in its favor because it's easy to move around right with the most waterproof eyeliner with all of my eyebrow wax with my waterproof mascaras liquid lipsticks the proper matte waterproof ones this stuff works let me know if you want to see a video on my new cleansing balms and cleansing products that i've been trying out i did make a video very very long back on my favorite cleansing balms cleansing oils um cleansing butters but over the years we've seen a lot of new launches especially last year and the start of this year the next one is the smashbox halo sheer to stay color tint this is in the shade visteria first you need to shake it because it is a little bit of a liquidy oily kind of a consistency right and i'm gonna swatch it right here i've just used a pea size but i kind of spread it out and oh my god it is so beautiful just look at that this gives you a beautiful sheer coverage but you can easily build this up you can use this on your lips you can use it on your cheeks you can use it on your eyes what i like about this is that it's a little dewy as well it does have an oily consistency so if you have very oily skin you might find this a little bit too much if you have very textured skin this might feel a bit much you might want to go for a more mattifying finish this is more on the dewy side glowy side but doesn't have any shimmer even without makeup on top of makeup on top of sunscreen this just looks so stunning on my skin tone and right now this might feel like it's not doing much but if i build this up fantastic results just look at that just need to build it up it spreads so beautifully a lot of people might debate saying okay but this is a luxury brand and for that you know it doesn't make sense for the price point but this kind of a texture i've not seen in any brand so far this is a very unique texture it also settles down to this matte kind of a finish like a creamy glowy matte kind of a finish but it's not sticky 
but it's also glowy I'm, I'm not too sure if i'm doing a very good job with explaining this but i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i can go on about this this is one of my favorite purchases from smashbox i love this so much and i strongly recommend it the last few products are all from sol de janeiro so this is what i bought before i went to thailand and this is the travel kit it comes with this cardboard on the back that i removed and threw away so these are the three products if you want to do a one week getaway i think this kit is fantastic this shower gel is enough for a week you guys even twice a day a little goes a long way this is the aha bha clarifying body wash from bombdia bright range i love this so much it smells really good it's not over drying it exfoliates the surface of your skin it's so gentle of course it's on the more pricier range but it is luxury beauty i think i'm gonna buy a full size because i love the finish on the skin it doesn't over dry my skin this is the number four 40 perfume this is the black amber plum and vanilla woods this smells so good i love how fresh this is so this does have a lot of vanilla with a lot of fruity notes but it's also very very fresh it's not warm it's a very fresh fragrance it's great for daytime it's great for brunches so for a lot of people who don't want a lot of vanilla but they also want the fruity fresh notes this is going to be the range for you because this fragrance is so good and it's so long lasting now the best part about this was that i got this body wash completely free this is 90 ml worth of product you guys and this range you all already know is one of my favorites i love the boom boom range it's the perfect super sweet very vanilla sugary caramelly kind of a fragrance that i absolutely love you guys i love smelling like a walking vanilla cupcake i love it it's my signature smell and this stuff right here is so good it's a very creamy body wash it lathers up beautifully but again it's very very creamy it's great if you have very dry skin not only did i get this free i also got two tiny samples free i'm going to leave a photo on the screen i posted these from my thailand travels because i was traveling with those and i obviously emptied it one tiny sample is more than enough for your legs and your hands very very good quantity because a little goes a long way so i definitely wanted to travel with those and the last item that i got from the hot pink sale is this one right here i saved the best for the last this is something i've been eyeing for the longest time i wanted this so bad especially because it just stacks up so beautifully it's got my favorite products right here and this was also my first time trying out the green one the coco cabana cream look at that you guys this is 50 ml worth of product fantastic for the price this is such a steal now the first one is the original boom boom cream i love this so much i have so many minis of this and a full size it's a constant for me you guys i love this it's so sweet it's so conditioning it is so firming as well i love this for my butt and my thigh area and obviously all the dry areas of my body the next one is the bomb dia cream the quantity is the same that you get in the kit as well a proper 50 ml now both of these have vanilla notes but this one is super sweet very very sweet very tropical this is more on the floral and i'm gonna say fruity more fruity than floral kind of a fragrance it's very very fresh this is very very warm and the third one is the coco cabana cream this is something i wanted to try for the longest time and oh it smells so good this smells like a coconut cupcake it smells so good it literally smells like the coconut body butter from the body shop so the body shop has been my favorite ever since i was a teenager um i think back in 2011 and 2012 one of my most favorite products from the body shop was the coconut body butter i used it so much that i kind of got sick of it and i never ended up buying it again because i just bought it so many times i think in just a matter of i'm gonna say two or three years during that time i finished approximately six to seven tubs of that thing and then i just got so sick of the fragrance this fragrance takes me back Back to that and obviously the body shop one is way more affordable the full size as compared to this brand both of these are great i find that to be a bit more thicker and greasier now of course that was a proper body butter like you had to literally like shave it off it was so thick as compared to this this is more like a whipped body cream if that makes sense but it's very very thick now what i like about all of these all the formulations of the body creams from sol de janeiro is that they are very thick very creamy very long lasting in terms of moisturizing your skin they definitely give you that firmer feel on your skin and soft to touch without feeling greasy and the fragrance lasts till the next day so now along with this the phoebe's that i got were these two right here how cute is this this tiny one right here filled to the brim 
and I got this one right here. I already have a tiny mini that I travel with because I cannot live without this perfume. I have a full size at home, but it's just so difficult to travel with. It's very, very big, you guys. These two are so easy to travel with. Just throw them in your purse. See how much I've used up? A little goes a long way. This is very, very long lasting. You can use it on your hair. You can use it on your body. Don't use it on your clothes. Use it on your body directly because that's how it's gonna be way more long lasting. One of my favorite ranges, you guys. This is the number 62 pistachio and salted caramel very very sweet fragrance i love it so much and those are all of the products you guys i hope you found this video useful i hope you found the mini reviews helpful as well let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these products what was your experience like i would love to know look at my hair you guys it's getting bigger and more fluffier i need to apply some serum because it's gonna explode anyway i hope you enjoyed watching today's video if you did then please hit the thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed watching it i'm gonna take your leave now guys but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and check out my previous videos right here i will catch you all in the next video so then Take care of yourselves. Bye.